the Pajero IV's three-door body is sturdy, but for a five-door, the tensile strength is noticeably less, fairly resembling cars eventually sent even by increasing or leaving the gaps between the body panels. And on diagonal hanging, the body can play, demonstrating insufficient torsional rigidity. In addition, it is expensive to restore it after a serious accident, it is quite difficult to set the geometry of the structure with spars implanted in the bottom, and it is more expedient to do this at specialized service stations, in homegrown services. Of course, they can take up repairs, but the quality of work will be poor. With Pajero corrosion on U, the fifth door and rear door glass guides quickly surrender to rust. Chrome-plated parts from reagents quickly fade. From clogged dirt, the fuel tank filler pipe rots. The hinges of the wipers come off, so you have to change the trapezoid from 4,500 rubles in the assembly. Elements from 2,400 rubles of side mirrors often crack. Valio fog lights, 8,800 rubles, from using them for their intended purpose. In rainy and foggy weather, they often burn out. Instead, they install similar ones from Renault Logan, which are much cheaper. The three-door version of Pajero left the Russian market in 2010 due to lack of demand. The standard transmission for the Pajero 4 is a 5-speed manual. True, such modifications are very rare in our market. But the statistics of malfunctions at the expense of the MCP, without exaggeration, are scanty. On the one hand, the mechanics are a priori reliable, and on the other hand, cars with the 5-speed automatic Eisenwarner prevail in our country. If the first owner did not manage to kill the box before you, it will serve faithfully for many more years. Just do not forget to change the oil every 90,000 kilometers. It is interesting that the approximate age of the car can be determined from the design of the box. Until 2009, automatic machines came with an oil dipstick, and after that without it. All-wheel drive transmission is reliable. For maintenance, it is enough to inject only the front cross piece, the rest are replaced by swivel joints. The transfer case may not work correctly with age due to faulty mode position sensors, there are only 7 of them. The item costs from 1500 rubles. On older specimens, the outboard bearing wears out, which usually changes along with the drive shaft. The node from dealers is offered quite expensively, so it makes sense to purchase it yourself. At first, two power units were installed on the Pajero 4, 3.8 liter V6 petrol, 248 horsepower and a 3.2-liter four-cylinder turbo diesel, 165 horsepower. And later they began to offer another 3-liter gasoline V6, 178 horsepower, which was installed on various Mitsubishi models back in the early 90s. Gasoline 6s are designed for 90-second gasoline and are famous for their loyalty to our fuel. Especially the 3-liter, which is characterized by indestructibility and excellent maintainability. It has practically no weak points, and the resource exceeds 400,000 kilometers. Most importantly, do not forget to update the timing belt, from 8,500 rubles, every 90,000 kilometers. And servicemen assure that such details as oxygen sensors and catalysts do not fail for a long time. A more modern 3.8 liter is more demanding and more expensive to maintain. It uses spark plugs, 850 rubles each, with a platinum electrode, which usually take care of 60 to 80,000 kilometers, true. The replacement of the candles of the right row of cylinders occurs with the removal of the intake manifold. And further, there was a defective batch of motors that surfaced after 2008. The robot on the assembly line installed the wrong liners on the crankshaft main journals that were put. On this occasion, there was a recall campaign. The 3.2-liter turbo diesel has proven itself well on the third Pajero. This engine, already with direct fuel injection and the common rail system, with very rare exceptions, works like clockwork for a couple, or even 300,000 km. The chain and the timing drive is designed for the entire service life of the diesel engine, but the crankshaft pulley peels off over time and flies off its seat, damaging the radiator or drive belt. Therefore, it is necessary to monitor its condition and, at the first doubt, change it, 4,500 rubles, to a new pulley along with the central bolt. On the oldest copies, fuel injectors and glow plugs fail. The suspension of the Mitsubishi Pajero 4 is surprisingly strong. Even the stabilizer struts, 1300 rubles each, are considered eternal. 
but the bushings, 480 rubles each, are already handed over after 40 to 50,000 kilometers. Ball bearings are changed separately from the levers and usually nurse 120 to 180,000 kilometers. Shock absorbers, 4,800 rubles each, work an average of 90 to 130,000 kilometers. In the rear suspension, it is recommended to lubricate the eccentrics of the levers that regulate the camber and toe angles. Otherwise, they will turn sour and then you will have to change the lever assembly. After driving on difficult and deep off-road, as well as overcoming a Ford, do not be too lazy to check the rear axle for water getting into it through the breathers. Otherwise, the emulsion flavored with water will quickly destroy this knot. In steering, by 60 to 80,000 kilometers, the rod ends wear out, 1,600 rubles each, and the rods themselves will last a little longer, 1,800 rubles each. The rail can withstand 150,000 kilometers before overhaul. The Japanese have seriously worked on the reliability of the Pajero 4. They abandoned the GDI engines installed on their predecessor, which caused criticism in Russia, but left the well-proven 3.2-liter turbo diesel in the line. The durable undercarriage, as well as the Super Select 2 transmission, which was successful in all respects, were kept almost in the same form. 